I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a penguin that is puking a rainbow. So grab your favorite mark making mediums, whether it's felt marker, um, pencil, or wax crayon, and let's make some art. All right, Artastic Nation, I'm so excited for this one. Okay, we are doing a penguin puking a rainbow because, um, yeah, I don't even need to explain how cool that is. Here we go. So, of course, art is always allowed to be creative, fun, and imaginative, and that is what I'm feeling for this video. So, here we go. First, I'm going to start up at the face of the penguin. So, I'm going to do a curving line, and this is going to be the width of the beak. We're going to do a diagonal line up and a diagonal line down. Now this is the inside of the beak. We're seeing part of the inside because his beak is up. So we're going to add a line on either side there and just one down the middle. Next, we're going to draw a rectangle. So from that beak we are going to draw a line down from each corner. Okay, I'm gonna go over them twice so that way they're nice and thick. I'm also gonna go over that curved line again. I just wanna thicken it up here so it stands out because of course the focal point of this is gonna be the rainbow. Okay, straight line across. Go over it a second time to thicken it up. And now we're going to do some rainbow color. So, Roy G. Biv. Um, I'm not going to do the full Biv, but we're going to do most of the rainbow. Now, if you want to make it all the way, that's up to you. You do your own art. So, one line down for the red. Now, if you want to use a ruler, you sure can. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. And my final stripe on the end there is going to be indigo or purple. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five lines down the middle of my rectangle. Now, this is looking pretty peculiar, isn't it? So I think it's about time that we add a face. We're gonna start on one side and we're gonna start by cur drawing a little U-shape. In fact, draw a little U-shape and then we're gonna continue it into a spiral. So as I spiral, I'm going outward. Okay, do a couple loops, go back over it and thicken it up so these crazy eyes Stand out. Okay, so this is one penguin eye. All scrunched up. Move on to the other side of that beak and we're gonna do that same little U. So start with a U and then continue it into a spiral. Now, my eyes are not exactly the same and that is perfectly okay. I am, of course, not a computer, and neither are you. Here we go. So two eyes for our penguin. Hopefully this is looking like something, but of course, still looks very strange and unusual. Next, we're gonna add a nice long oval, oval under each eye. A nice long oval under each eye. And now we gotta give this penguin which doesn't really look like a penguin at this moment, but we gotta give this penguin a body. So here we go. I'm gonna start on one side and I'm going to draw a nice sweeping curve around. So it's like a nice arching shape around the top. 
I'm gonna go over it a second time here. Cool, that's the top of the penguin's head. Okay, lovely. Next. A nice curve down. Okay, same on the other side. And I always use my other hand to hold my paper so it doesn't slip out from under me and make a crazy mark while I'm drawing. Always thicken up those lines so it stands out kindly. Just like that. Now, on the bottom, I'm gonna do a long leap. So a long curve, almost to that middle. I'm using my eyes to kind of gauge it with that center line on that beak that we previously drew. And boom, a second one. Quite an odd way to end a penguin's belly, isn't it? But you wait. This is a chubby little penguin. So it has little rolls over its feet. All right, we're gonna do some feet. So we're gonna have two lines come out on that side. Two lines come out on that side. One U shape, two, three U shapes. Okay, I'm gonna bring this out a little farther. A U, a U, another U. How cute is that? We're gonna add a tiny little wing on this chubby little penguin on either side. And I need to add some penguin body shapes. Okay, so we're gonna add the final detail of this weird penguin, okay? So we're gonna draw another little line, a nice thin one on the inside there because of course it needs to be white with black around it. And then another belly parallel line. So that way that inside area will stay white. So it's a nice contrast on here. We're gonna have black, white, rainbow. Boom! Massive contrast, which of course is perfect for making art. We wanna really grab that viewer's attention. Now, before we color, we're going to go over those wings and feet. One more time, my lovely friends. Thicken them up, make them stand out. Perfect. Now grab your favorite coloring mediums, and let's get coloring. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with the body. So I'm gonna be using um, felt markers to color, but you can use anything you want, whether it's water, color paints, wax crayons, felt markers, oil pastels. You pick what you want to use, and let's get coloring. So grab your black, and we're going to color the body black. I'm going to be very careful as I color around that white because, of course, I want to keep it very white. You can take a gray and you can just shade that 
edge where the along the edge of the whites we're going to just take a gray and it could be a wax crayon gray it could be a felt marker gray it can be pencil crayon whatever you have I'm just going to go a little bit along that edge and add a nice little gray line that's just going to make it pop add a little bit of visual interest to it Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna grab a yellow for that beak. So first I'm going to color the beak yellow and then I'm gonna go over a little bit of it with my orange. So yellow first. I know it looks a little bit orange right now, but as this dries, it will brighten up for you. Okay, grab an orange. And I'm just going to add some orange on that inside. Because of course, this is the roof of its beak. It's opening its beak in order to, of course, vomit some rainbows. Cool. Ooh, actually, grab that orange again. We may as well color those feet while we have our orange out. Grab a pink, color in those little penguin cheeks. Grab a blue, and you can uh, just go a little bit around the spiraled out eyes. And add a nice little blue edge onto it for some shading. So I'm just picking one side of that spiral and I'm just going to go a little around it. So it has a nice little opportunity to stand out a bit more. Okay, now guys, of course, puking a white rainbow isn't that, well, rainbowy at all. In fact, it's just normal light. So we got to split that up into some colors here. First, grab your red. Rainbow's gonna go red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Ooh, I quite like that blue. It's very nice, isn't it? Oh yeah. And violet. Or indigo. Or purple. Really depends on what, how many stripes you put on there. Okay, 
And just like that, my lovely friends, our puking, our rainbow puking penguin, try saying that one again, rainbow puking penguin is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at MsArtastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast your favorite podcast player.